Amen, amen. Glory to God. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. And hey, hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. We are here. We are here. Oh, my goodness. The holidays are upon us, and Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Amen. It is just around the corner. Before you know it, we're going to be singing that famous J song. Amen. Jingle bells. You never know. (laughs) You're like, I don't sing jingle bells. I sing hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Christmas is a made up holiday. Uh Uh-huh. But you enjoy the gifts and the food. So who you kidding? (laughs) You know you love Christmas. Stop playing. Stop playing. Speaking of the holidays, don't forget to tell God thank you. Amen. Before you start munching on that food. And for, for some of you folks that are out there that get upset when people don't pray over their food. It's okay. Don't worry about it. See, when the food gets to the table, it's kind of too late to pray for the food anyway. But check this out. Your heavenly angels have already prayed for your food. Before folks started cooking your food. They already prayed for it because you always want to bless the hands before they actually start digging in and massaging that turkey and making the brine and cutting up all the carrots and celery and stuff. Ooh, I'm making myself hungry. But you know what I mean? So God got you. Your angels have already prayed for your food. Now, if you just want to pray an extra prayer, then how about you say something regarding the intaking of the food like for example father god i thank you that uncle johnny does not do his loud 10 minute belch thinking it's funny at the table because he always manages to be sitting right in front of me and my hair be blowing back i'm just saying or how about telling my brother to tell his girlfriend don't be spraying perfume on at the table i'm just saying it gets everywhere and all our food be tasting like her latest cologne we just saying please please do that in the bathroom that's all do it in the bathroom Now, I know she's spreading it because somebody next to her don't smell as good as she does. Well, get over it. Turn the other cheek. Turn your nostrils in the other direction. (laughs) Y'all get what I'm saying? So pray pray that you'll enjoy the food, no matter who cooks the food, no matter what the food tastes like, that you'll enjoy the company that you are with. And that you'll just have fun. See, some people have told me that they're going to order pizza for Thanksgiving. That's cool. Some people are going to just, you know, they're going to go get them some hot dogs. See, Thanksgiving ain't really about the food. It's about what you have available and the people that you're with. And for some of us, we don't have family. So, it's about, honestly, it's about being thankful to God because Thanksgiving was started by some Puritans and some Indians, the native Indians, and they broke bread together to give thanks. They were thanking them for helping them to survive. If it was not for the native Indians, those Christians wouldn't have made it. I mean, heck, most of them died anyway because they was not used to that kind of cold. They didn't make it to Miami. They went to the cold part, to the East Coast. I'm just summarizing. And so anyway, be thankful for the people that you're around and show yourself friendly. Be a blessing. Now, don't go around telling people how to dress or how to do this. All you got to do is cover your your milk jugs and your butt, your TNA, and you know, that way, and don't be turning up in front of somebody else's man and you good. And don't be licking your lips at somebody else's woman and you good. So, you know, 
set some boundaries, show some respect and enjoy the holidays. That way everybody gets to have fun. And when you look back on this holiday, you'll know, you'll be able to say, you know what, man, that was a really good holiday. That was a lot of fun. I can't even think of anything bad to say because everybody was just respectful and honorable and we just had a good time and we was watching movies, kicking back, playing ball, you know, shooting. Some of y'all still shoot dice, whatever. I ain't judging. You do it for fun, you know, Yahtzee, hey. (laughs) And you having fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But, you know, do your thing. Have some fun. Kick back. All right, I'm going to break real quick for a quick, quick 30-second commercial. And then we're going to say a quick prayer together. And then that way you know you covered because you already said your prayer. You got me? All right, y'all. All All right, I told you that would be quick. That was 30 seconds. All right. All right, so I have a scripture reference for you before we... uh, actually say the prayer i'm in the book of genesis you know we gotta have a scripture you can't be praying without having some scripture in your head you'll be saying whatever you want to say you need god's words so of course i also say holy spirit give me words to say give me words of utterance you know because we read the scripture then i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna pray you know however he leave me but this is just for for your information sake whenever you pray Go look up your scripture. If you ain't got time to go look it up, bring one to your remembrance. If you can't remember one, I should say first ask the Holy Spirit to give you one. Because, you know, sometimes we, we may get leave out a word. You, you don't want to leave out a word. Or you may add a word to it. You don't want to add a word to the Holy Scriptures, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with summarizing, but you got to say, hey, I'm summarizing. But, you know, sometimes when you pray... You be wanting to bring up that scripture and then you like, man, I can't remember. Forget it. I'm going to just say whatever, you know, God know my heart. No, it ain't about God knowing your heart. Yeah, he know your heart. But whoever you praying for, they need to hear that word. They need to hear that word. And the word helps you to pray correctly and better. So, you know, it's good to have some scripture to go with. Go along with whatever you pray. So read the scripture first like I'm getting ready to do. I hope y'all enjoying this short message. (laughs) Because I'm enjoying giving it to you. This is a time of Thanksgiving. And I know I'll be tripping on this phone. On this uh, radio. I was about to say phone. I'll be tripping (laughs) on this radio sometimes. And I truly enjoy myself. If you hear me laughing, that's for real. I ain't faking it. It ain't no ha ha. Unless I actually say ha ha. (laughs) <laughs> and sometimes when I say that I start laughing I get to thinking about Pastor Terry you should check her out over at EMIC Church <laughs> that lady is funny she'll get to laughing and she just won't stop anyway um, so here's the scripture I'm in Genesis chapter 4 verses 25 and 26 okay so um, it says uh, and Adam knew his wife again and she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God said, she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And that's, that's very important. Verse 26. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. To call upon the name of the Lord is to worship and to praise. Now, why was the first verse important? Because it says, for God said, she, he talking about Eve, who he was upset with, Eve, hath appointed me, meaning Eve, blessed him. He was truly blessed with this offering. Because you got to remember, if you go back in the beginning of Genesis, you, you'll see what God is trying to correct Cain, he corrected Cain. He gave Cain the information because Cain was like, 
look, man, I don't even know why I'm giving you the first piece of my turkey. Well, you ain't going to eat it anyway. You know how, you know how old Uncle, Uncle Omar be wanting the first piece of the turkey. He ain't even got no teeth to eat, but he want the first big piece. He want that big drumstick and he be numbing it with his gums. And you like, oh my, you ain't even got no teeth, man. You supposed to be eating soft food. I mean, like mashed potatoes and stuff. And he like, boy, give me that. Give me that big old turkey leg. I want that turkey leg. And you were like, man, he ain't going to even eat that, man. He going to waste it. He ain't going to even eat that. Why he get the big one? <laughs> That's kind of like how Cain was talking to God. Like, God, you ain't going to even eat this. Why you want the first? Why you want the first? You ain't going to even eat it, man. You ain't going to even do nothing with it. <laughs> and God was like, yo, man, it ain't about. He talked to him like he was talking to Job. Look, man, you letting the devil all up in you. You giving the devil a footstool, a foothold all up in you. You letting him come right up in your booty and get all up in your nostrils and go. Rawr. He's like, what you scared of? Because he like, it ain't about the offering. It's about the honor. It ain't about the offering. It's about the honor. So when we praise and worship God, it ain't about you. It's about honoring God. It ain't about what you sound like. It ain't about how you sing. It ain't about your clothes or your new pretty hat, your new shoes you done bought for Thanksgiving so you can look pretty going to who's ever house to your boss's house or whatever. It ain't about that. It's about honoring God and about showing respect to the people that invited you to dinner. But first and foremost, it's about God. Honor God and worship the Lord first and then honor the people that invited you and the folks that cooked the meal. You know what I'm saying? All right. So <laughs> God told Cain that, right? He like, yo, man, it ain't about you. And Cain like, watch this. Because Cain was like, you you like Abel's offering, man. Pfft. Look what he doing, man. He ain't even doing nothing. I'm giving you the bang, the boom, the and you he like, man. He's like, Abel's a sucker. And you just like slobbing all over Abel. So what he give you a tenth and he give it to you without even asking. You slobbing all over him and man, you just sh- you straight dissing me, God. You dissing me. I don't even like that. Man, look at how you coming at me, Lord. He was straight up talking to God like that. Look at how you coming at me, Lord. And God, you know, being the father that he is, he being all humble, you know, in the back of his mind, God was like, boy, I will hem you up. I will straight slap you in the ground. You just don't know. Won't you ask that fool that's talking in your ear? What did I do to him? Now, to see, that's what God's saying in the back of his mind. Like, he like, man, but he's showing, he's showing Cain love. He like, dude. I love you. All you got to do is do right. How many of y'all have said that to your homie that you done got a job, you know, at your spot and they straight calling in every other day, coming in late when they do come. Hey Amen. <laughs> and you like, dude, all you got to do is do right. Man, this is, this is on me right here. Everything is on me and you, you dishonoring me. You, do do right. I'm not. I'm gonna have to straight. I'm gonna have to get you out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to fire your butt. And so, Cain, he's so silly. He's like, man, I'm gonna show you something. He like, yo, uh, Abel, what you doing, man? What you doing? Click. He straight up took his own brother out. Because he got jealous. He let Satan enter his head. So he took out the very thing that he thought God loved the most. And what he didn't understand is God corrects 
those whom he loves. If he did not love Cain, he would have never corrected Cain. He'd have been like, dude, going on over there with your daddy, Satan. Because you honoring Satan with your mouth and your attitude. I don't like it. You honoring Satan. Going on over there with that thing. But instead, God was correcting him. He's like, yo, man, you higher than Satan. You are you you above him. That thing is beneath you. Why are you letting him get all up in your head space? You doing the very same thing your dad did. Break the curse. Cain, break the curse. Instead, Cain, Cain gave in to the curse. How many of y'all know that there's three generations, sometimes four generations of men and now women that are in prison? That's right. They got cell blocks and wards of family members, of people with the same name from the same grandma and grandpa. That's right. Johnny 1, Johnny 2, Johnny 3, and Johnny 4. You know it. They there. Ain't that a hot mess? Because they didn't listen to what Grandpa was saying to them. Yo, man, cool your temper. Cool your temper. Give it over to the Lord. And Johnny like, man, God worked too slow. Grandpa like, uh, you here, ain't you? What do you mean? He worked too slow. He's like, you need to calm it down. Take it down a peg. You know what? Fall back on that. Fall back. Johnny didn't listen. Johnny went to jail for life. Johnny Jr. went to jail for life. Johnny Jr. Jr. went to jail for life. And Johnny Jr. 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 is in jail right now. And the judge is deciding, am I going to give him life with all his people? Or am I going to set him free and make him go to school or something? Because right now it's petty theft. But petty theft always leads to a higher kind of theft and or murder or something. Dishonor and disrespect will get your butt in trouble. It'll get you in trouble, man. It'll take your life away. It'll take away all your blessings. Dishonor will take away all your blessings. And this is the very thing that God was telling Cain. Remember, God will correct those whom he loves. So if he ain't correcting you, oh, watch out now. He telling you, yo, man, you need to decide who you going to serve. He corrected me. And this is how I did it. I told you this before. Yo, uh, Kathy, who you going to serve? You need to make up your mind right now. Right now. And I do mean now. What you think I did? Uh, I'm, I'm coming with you, Lord. Uh, I'm, I'm coming with you. I'm with you, all right? I, I ain't got time for this. I ain't going to hell. It stank. Uh-uh. Ooh, I don't like it. It's all dark. You ain't even there. You don't even come by to visit. I ain't going down there. Uh Uh-uh. I'm going with you. (laughs) I'm paraphrasing, but uh, that's the gist of it. Jesus, I'm with you. Messiah. The Jewish people call him Yahweh. Yahweh. Your way. Amen is my way. Hey. I'm not playing. <laughs> and so when when <laughs> when Eve when when Adam and Eve gave God another seed. Cuz remember the first one who was honorable, he loved Abel cuz Abel was so honorable. Abel even though he came from two people that dishonored God greatly, God was kind of Happy and pleased that Abel did not choose sin. Abel was walking with God of his own free will. Oh, God loved him some Abel. But then it was his man, Cain. He loved Cain because Cain was a hard worker. Cain would work. He would work and work. But Cain only wanted to work for himself. 
he like yo man i'm hustling he like yo okay man you ain't really got to hustle like that you know i'm doing it all i done did it all for you look i'm ready to restore the blessing man you ain't got to hustle like that you ain't got to hustle you man all you gotta do is honor me yo remember worship and honor is a kiss on the cheek you remember how grandma be like, yo, baby, don't be coming up in this house without giving me a kiss on my cheek. Mm-hmm. Don't be coming up all up in here all, all upset. You can't say hi to me. You know, grandpa, yo, uh, what you puffed up about? You remember your respect, boy. Take that hat off when you come up in my house. Show me some respect. Look me in the eye and say good morning. Hello, grandpa. And you <laughs> okay, Grandpa, you right, you right, you right. <laughs> God was so happy, so happy with Adam and Eve, so happy with Eve because cause Eve took the bait. Eve was the first one to go, God lying to me. Because see, in, in, the early, in the early parts of the book of Genesis, Satan told Eve, if you eat of this tree, you're going to know everything God knows. Girl, let me tell you something, child. Let me let me whisper to you on the down low. The Lord lying to you for real, though. Look at this. Girl, go ahead, take a little bite. It ain't going to kill you. He lying. He saying if you take a bite of this apple, it's going to kill you. Girl, he lying. He, he ain't telling y'all the full truth, girl. You're going to be just like him. You're going to be a God just like him. Remember, I want to be God. And look at me now. I'm the God. Of, I'm, gonna, I'm the God. I, I'm a God of my area, too. He's, he, 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 he didn't remind her that he's the God of darkness. He's the father of darkness. And, and check this out. He ain't even created. He was just put there because he was so dishonorable. He ain't make hell. But God made him the head of it. And so anyway, he made him the head of dishonor. And so anyway, he telling Eve, look, you know, take a little bitty bit, little bite, look. You know, just lick it, girl. Just go ahead and lick it. Oops, I accidentally licked my microphone. You know, you heard that before. Girl, just lick it a little bit. Just lick. Just lick. You know, three lips of the lollipop and you get to the center. You'll see it ain't nothing. Ain't no worm up in there. Lick. And so Satan is straight lying to her, right? It wasn't no three licks to the center of, a, of the lollipop and you get a piece of bubble gum. It sure was not. This chick took a bite of the apple and seeing just went, Hello, I'm so glad to meet you. Hello, it's me again. Oh, oh, oh. I got my woman. I think I want a man now. Ooh. And what does she do? She go, I see it. I'm on the prowl. I got you. And she goes trotting on over to, to husband. Now she you know she got the na na. She like, ooh. Hey. She give him that look. That seductive look. You know what you do. To get your man all riled up. Now, most of y'all don't know this. You ain't got to do nothing to get your man all riled up. You truly don't. You got everything he need, everything he want. One thing I should say, a tic-tac will not hurt you at all. And soap and water every day won't hurt. I'm, I'm just saying. Keep it fresh and clean. Crispy clean. So clean you get snap and hear the click ah, refreshing like you open up a fresh bottle of pop ah. <laughs> so anyway eve looking at him going what's up baby hey how you doing look guess what he said and she pointing to Satan, to Lucifer, pointing to Satan. He said that God lied to us saying that 
if we eat of this apple, eat of this tree, we gonna die. She go like, look, baby, I took a bite. I'm still here. And Adam looking at her like, oh, you so stupid. But dad, girl, you got the Donna. Oh, man. I know if I, oh, see if I go with you, I know I'm going to be in trouble with the father. But, oh, I like the Nana. <sighs> what do I do now? <sighs> nana, father. Nana, father. Nana. <sighs> Shoot, we in trouble now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Dang. We in trouble now. Girl, get some clothes on. Oh, crazy Eve, like, what clothes? What you talking about? Shoot, we wear clothes? We can. I just thought I would, you know, look, let it all hang out. You don't seen everything anyway. Ain't nobody else around. Shoot. <laughs> and so by her and Adam making this new baby, this third baby, three is a good thing. Father, son, Holy Ghost. Amen. The father thinks it. Amen. The son loves it and the Holy Spirit does it. You know, God was thinking that in his head. Three, baby, I got another opportunity to bring my son into the earth to redeem man. That's right. When they, when he saw Seth, he saw redemption. He was like, yes. All right. Yes. I do not have to fold up earth. You know how you finish with a game and you fold it up and you put it back in the box. God's like, I don't have to put you back in the box. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy now. Oh my goodness. Glory to God. Yes. He can say that to himself about himself. He can say that glory to God. He's like, Oh, you don't know how much you bless me, girl. Oh, yes. Some of y'all are like, you mean to tell me God nutted right there? Watch your mouth. No, he did not. That's just the joy of the Lord. He was happy, man. It was like, he was like you daddies get. When you see your new baby girl, your new baby boy born, you like, man, how did I make this? Oh, so pretty. <laughs> and in that instant, all you dudes go, anybody mess with my kid, I'm going to kill him. In the same instance, you know God was thinking, yes, I get to redeem my sinful children. Hallelujah. My son is coming into the earth. God's like, now I get to write that scripture, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's right. Seth restored God's ability to write John 3, 16. Yes, he did. See, Seth created a man who he named Enos. He named Enos. Enos means man. Adam actually means man. But Adam sinned and he gave his authority to the devil. But Enos, Enos, he gave God another opportunity for worship and redemption. Enos began to call upon the name of the Lord. Enos set the stage for man to instantaneously 
call upon the Lord. Enos was filled with the Holy Spirit. No man begins to worship unless God puts it in him and God put it in him. Just like he put it in Mary to birth his son, he put in worship in Enos. Remember, we are already born with the spirit of God in us. The Holy Spirit is already in us. But for some reason, Abel honored God with his works and his tithe and offerings. But Cain would not. Cain could not get revelation to save his own life, except for what well, I should. He could not get revelation to save his own inheritance. He, he, however, did get wisdom to say, Lord, you got to put a mark on me. Otherwise, these folks going to kill me out here. Because God sent Cain on his way. He's like, uh-uh, you, you got to get out of here. He didn't even want Cain on, he didn't want Cain in his sacred area no more. He sent him away. He, 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 he sent him off. And so when Enos came, so there was Seth, and then Seth did good, and then Seth made Enos, and, and God was like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hallelujah. And God was happy. He was freaking, freaking happy. It's like, yes. And so, you know, Enos is going, hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Jesus, Lord God Almighty. See, Enos was saying, thank you, Lord, for birthing me. Thank you, Lord, for creating me. Thank you, Lord, for you are the great I am. You are the way maker, Lord God. Look at all you made. Thank you, Father. You gave me food. You gave me, you clothed me, Lord. You covered me, Lord. See, our skin is covering our glory that covers that holiness of God. He's like, you gave me wisdom, God. Thank you, Lord. I am happy, Father God, to be used by you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So think of it like this. All of us that are giving thanks to the Lord are from the house of Seth, who birthed Enos. We are from the house of praise and worship. We are from the house of worship. That means that we automatically have a desire to kiss God, to give him a peck on the cheek. And so this Thanksgiving, take an opportunity to give God a peck on the cheek. Even if you only say something like, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. For making this earth. Thank you Lord God. For making me. Thank you for your mercies. That you have bestowed upon my whole life. Lord God you have been with me. Every step of the way. You have been with me. And I am so thankful Lord. Thank you Lord God for guiding me. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you for my salvation. Thank you Lord God for for correction thank you lord for correcting me in the way to go thank you lord god for your leadership thank you lord god for your honor thank you lord god for showing me how to to be a blessing thank you for blessing me thank you for opening up your doors of blessing thank you for showering me lord god thank you for covering me in your glory lord god thank you lord god for your word Thank you, Lord God, for trusting me. Thank you, Lord God, for pulling me to your bosom. Thank you, Lord God, for sharing your heart with me, for sharing your mind with me. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this, for the money to buy the food. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing me to to share this wealth of nourishment. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing me, for giving me patience 
Thank you, my God, for allowing me to share this love that you poured into me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, for thou art worthy of all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how you give God thanks. Now, for you folks that are not saved, another way you can give God thanks is to thank him like that. And then to give God your heart, receive his free gift of salvation. Remember, I said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. God did it for all of us. He really did. Salvation is for everyone. And you want to give God some love today? Some love this Thanksgiving holiday? Get saved. Receive his free gift of salvation because Jesus paid the price for you. Some of y'all don't realize Jesus is, is not only the son of the most high God. But check this out. When you have the father, you have the son because Jesus is the face of the of the father. And the father paid the price. He had to take the punishment. He had to take the punishment so that we could live. So that we would have free will again to choose him, free will to to worship free will to live our daily lives free will to to have a spouse to bear children to be single all our days if we choose to to live he paid that price for you to be healthy and to be whole to be of sound mind and and sound body jesus paid that price for you so for every jew and every gentile salvation is for you I want you to re repeat this prayer after me glory to God hallelujah say this after me Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me of all my sins I confess my sins before you this day I give up my past life with Satan and close every door to all Satan's devices. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'll repeat that. I give up my past life with Satan and close every door to all Satan's devices. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was from this day forward, Lord Jesus. I will be sensitive to how you feel I won't hurt you I will obey you Lord Jesus I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name Lord Jesus I believe with my heart I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer. To the Father, in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. With evidence of speaking in tongues. For the edifying of the body of Jesus Christ. By the will of Jehovah God. Amen. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. You just got saved. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Read the Holy Bible every day, starting off with the book of John, uh, chapter one. Don't miss. Amen. Let me know that you got saved. I want to celebrate with you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God some praise. And um, hey, don't forget, hashtag Jesus Worship uh, Project. Jesus Praise, Jesus Worship and Praise Project is what we're doing. Um, and just write a little 30 second, uh, say a little 30 second prayer or six second prayer. It goes something like, thank you, Jesus, Lord, for thou art worthy. Hallelujah. And then just, you know, send it up on the link and, uh, you'll find that, uh, you can do it on Spreaker. You can do it on, um, you can actually type it out on Spreaker or you can do it on uh, anchor.fm. Uh, go to my anchor page. It's a uh, anchor.fm forward slash, uh, Kathy Brock's. And, uh, you can, um, put, you should be, you'll see a link there and you can post it up, uh, your thank you to the Lord. So that's what we're doing for the holiday for Christmas. And so, um, help me with that project. I'm trying to get it, get like a, a big major kiss to the Lord for Christmas. Um, so that's what we're doing. Just reminding people. And, um, thank you so much for listening to this Thanksgiving message. Amen. Jesus absolutely loves you 100%. And um, let him correct you because that's his way of saying, I love you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. This is Kathy Brocks for LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. We are doing it. Hallelujah. LUTG Radio.com. That's right. You can check out all our social media pages. LUTG Radio. That's the hashtag. Amen. Instagram. Facebook. Facebook is LUTG Radio 247. All right. I am running out of time. So I got to tell you, thank you so much for listening. Share this with a friend, with the family members. Amen. Hallelujah. Share with as many people as possible. Uh, we try and make the show fun, try and make you laugh and give you some information at the same time. And uh, just share it. Share with as many people as you possibly can. And don't forget, show some love to people. You may not be good at saying, I love you, but you can all you, you can do works, meaning to open a door for somebody, you know, say thank you or do something kind for somebody. All right. All right. That's a good way to show love. So this is Kathy Brock's telling you peace out. I'll see you later. Get more for you. Post it up again. Share this podcast. Share this. Uh, I guess it is a podcast. Share this podcast, LUTG Radio Show. Share it with as many people as possible, please. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you later. Glory to God. Jesus loves you. Amen.